Hi, I'm Ellie. And I'm Charlotte, and we run a wedding boutique. Today we're going to talk to you about how to plan your wedding. If you're planning on getting married on an island, first of all you need to establish what kind of island it is. Is it actually a sunny, hot island or is it a cold, potentially windy island? Yeah, exactly. It could be, which in which case you need to, you know, dress accordingly. Presumably, most people getting married in Ireland are going to choose a hot one. I think the main thing to establish is, are you choosing an island that is fully prepared for weddings, that they have venues that organise everything for you, like we've spoken about before, um, in which case you just sort of tick a few boxes and finalise things when you get there. Or is it going to be a deserted island? Exactly, and what do you need to organise? I mean, you might have to organise everything, in which case I think it's very important to either have an, a coordinator this end, one that coordinates at that end, or if you're lucky enough to have friends and family, I think, that live in, on the island or very near it to go and check things out, or that hopefully you get a chance to go over there and finalise everything, because otherwise I think it might be a logistical nightmare. So again, you need to consider what you're going to wear if it's a hot island destination. Obviously something more fluid like this with something a little bit more relaxed. And again, don't forget to mention that on your invitation to your guests that the dress code is more relaxed. So you don't necessarily need to wear ties and suits, but maybe just trousers and shirts and flip-flops. And you've got to take into consideration that most people will be flying, might be flying a long way, and this could be their main holiday. So I, obviously it is your wedding and it's about you and your husband um, to be, but I also think you need to take into consideration that a lot of people might be travelling from a long time away. So do you, it's not just about the day when it's an island wedding, it's about the whole week possibly, if not more. I also think you should embrace the local produce um, if you are getting married in more of a remote island when looking into it. And you need to assess whether this is actually to your taste or not because they might have very different idea of wedding food to what you're traditionally used to. So really it's just working out exactly which island you want to get married on, if they have enough um, facilities to accommodate or if you actually need to be out there a good few weeks before to organise everything and definitely go out and visit the venue a good I would say six months to maybe a year before you get married so then you make contact with people and then you can plan everything from afar. And that's how you plan your island wedding.